Understanding when and why you might need to reset your Nest Cam with floodlight is essential for effective troubleshooting and maintenance. A hard reset, also known as a factory reset, completely restores your camera to its original factory settings. This process wipes all personal configurations, including Wi-Fi settings and custom preferences. You should consider performing a hard reset in several specific situations. These include when your camera stops working or responding, when it won't connect to your network, or when you're experiencing glitchy live video feeds. As of June 2025, there's a known bug affecting some users where floodlight settings become inaccessible. This prevents control of motion sensors and sensitivity adjustments. Google is aware of this issue, but currently has no workaround. Before attempting any reset, safety must be your first priority. Always turn off the floodlight at the circuit breaker to prevent electrical hazards. This is especially important if your camera is mounted in a high location. The reset button is located on the back of your Nest Cam, usually beneath or to the side of the mounting plate. It's a small, recessed button that requires a pin or paper clip to press. Knowing its location beforehand will make the reset process much smoother. Now that you understand when and why to reset your Nest Cam with floodlight, you're prepared to troubleshoot effectively. Remember to prioritize safety and have the reset button location identified before beginning any reset procedure. Before starting the reset process, safety is the top priority. Turn off the floodlight at the circuit breaker to prevent any electrical hazards while working with the device. Next, locate the reset button on the back of your Nest Cam. It's a small, recessed button, usually found beneath or to the side of the mounting plate. With the camera powered on, press and hold the reset button for about 10 seconds. Watch for the status light to blink or listen for a chime indicating the reset has begun. To complete the factory reset, Continue holding the reset button until you hear a second chime. This confirms the device has been fully reset to factory settings. After the reset is complete, turn the floodlight back on at the circuit breaker. Then open the Google Home app to begin the reconnection process. Remove the offline device from your app by going to Settings, then Remove Device and Confirm. To add it back, select Add Device, choose Google Nest, select your home, and scan the QR code to complete the setup. 